Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for April. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, yeah, so this is for Aquarius. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these and then we're going to use that deck right there. Keep in mind this is being recorded in March. It may resonate in March, but the reality is it's really for April. So let's see what we got for Aquarius. What's coming up for Aquarius in April? Aquarius sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. You watch your Venus for love. Okay. Destiny. Destiny. So we have a destined change here. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this is a change of course, which is bringing you something better. Okay, this is taking that step because you got to spin that wheel. You have to, you have to take the step. It's a card of free will that leads to destiny. There is a destined change, of course. They're just waiting for you to take some some sort of step, right? Um, one chapter is closing in your life, and a new chapter is opening. A new a new chapter is beginning. Okay. Um, And that is absolutely positively the case, okay? We definitely have an, uh, a phase in your life that is ending, okay? We have the universe as well, okay? So this is the world card. So definitely there is one phase, one chapter of your life that is coming to a close. A big one, something that was very prominent in your life, okay? That, that, that situation, that lesson that you needed to learn, whatever, Chalk it up to a lesson learned. You, you've you been successful, believe it or not. Okay? Now it's time to step on to that new path. So that's what it looks like to me. We have a major new beginning here. Absolutely. Aquarius. Destined change. Destined new beginning. Right? What else does Aquarius need to know for April? You're probably in the process of making a decision, a choice. You may be a little confused. Perhaps you're tr trying to be really careful with the choices that you make. You probably have an offer of love, you know. And you probably feel like, you know, this this could be too good to be true. No, of course, of course, we have the tower. Now, this is a card of destined change as well. So we absolutely do have destined change here, Aquarius. When, when the universe comes in to clean things out of your life, it's because they want to bring you something better. So you have something better coming, but it's after some major upheaval in your life, right? So it looks like you're starting with a clean slate of some sort. Something is crumbling or it has crumbled because it's time for you to perhaps get to a better place. Head towards your life's purpose. Um, You guys could be uh, walking through a new doorway, uh, headed towards a more happier commitment. Um, we're going to get some more cards here. Oh, the star reversed. Yikes. Now that's you, right? Um, you guys may be losing hope. You may be losing faith. You may feel like you're not going to get your wish fulfillment. You may feel like... You know, you don't believe anymore. You're, you're, maybe you're going through a period of self-loathing. There's discouragement here. Maybe there's insecurities that are, that are affecting you. You may be feeling really emotional at this time. Maybe, you, maybe the one chapter that has closed is, is, a, is, a, is a partnership, a breakup, you know. I feel like perhaps maybe you're shutting down emotionally a little bit. bit. Maybe you're withdrawing. Maybe you're trying to you know, keep everything organized, you're trying to keep everything under control, you're trying to appease everybody, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to do the right thing, and sometimes 
doing the right thing for everybody but yourself causes emotional neglect. So I feel like maybe you're neglecting yourself a little bit to keep everybody around you happy. And I feel because maybe perhaps you um, are feeling insecure with, with yourself. Maybe there's a lack of self-confidence or there's a lack of self-esteem. Maybe you're feeling a little under the weather because you maybe you want to leave a situation but you can't maybe you feel like you can't leave it because you know if you do you won't find wish fulfillment you know I think there's definitely a feeling of something that needs to end you know what it is it needs to end it needs to come crashing down there this needs there a change is needed but you have to master your emotions and do follow your heart instead of the crowd so you know I feel like right now you're losing hope that you're gonna find that ultimate partner or that you're gonna be happy or that you can you know get to this better place but I'm here to tell you that the universe is here with the tower and the world card this is this is universe this change that is needed that is going to happen it is going to happen this change that is coming or that is happening right now is going to bring you towards happiness. It's going to bring you to a better place. It's going to head you right towards your life's purpose. Um, something better is coming is what I'm trying to say. But it's going to come after a drastic change in your life. So... Um, you may feel weak. You may feel like you're not strong enough. Maybe you feel like you're not strong enough to walk away from something. But you know that there's more than whatever it is that you're in. It's like, I know that there's there's more. Um, yeah, I feel like... Whew, Somebody may be trying to escape, you know, I want to escape, but I don't, I don't have the ability to do so. There's definitely a hindrance here. There's lack of balance. There's lack of harmony in a partnership by the looks of things. And I think... It's time to, it's time, but somebody isn't allowing, they're not allowing themselves to be happy. They're choosing everybody but themselves. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely in regards to a partnership. It's like somebody is, is not in a happy commitment right now. They're not, they're not in a happy partnership. They're not getting the love that they deserve, or the love that they desire. And it's because they don't have the ability to face their fears. They don't have the ability to um, follow their heart. Fear of what compromises that they will have to make if they do follow their heart. You know, maybe there, maybe somebody is staying in a situation because of financial reasons. You know, but there's, there's, there's no love. Okay, it's like there's no love there. There, there is no love there, and I feel like um, there's been a lot of family feuds. There's been a lot of bickering. Uh, things have been turned upside down for some time, and it's time. It's time to you know evolve. It's time to accept change. It's time to head towards your purpose. It's time to follow your destiny and stop putting everybody else before you. Um, I feel as though somebody has fear of growing old alone. They have fear of rejection. You know, somebody in this reading is going through a midlife crisis and, you know, it's like I feel lonely where I'm at, but if, I, but, but it, but at least it's something. And I, and I, in order for me to move on it's kind of like I want to guarantee that I won't be alone forever you know and there's no guarantees but if you believe if you have hope 
and you take steps to follow your dreams, you will get a reward. You will. You will get good things. The Wheel of Fortune brings good things. Something better. So I feel like we have somebody here that definitely has fear. Fear of rejection, fear of growing old alone, going through a midlife crisis over following their heart. I feel like they know that there's a better opportunity for love. They know that there's a better opportunity for commitment. There's a, there's a, a better opportunity for happiness. There's, there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment, but taking that step and facing your fears is, is huge. And the universe sees that somebody isn't happy, by the way. They do. And they see that somebody is holding on to a false foundation. And they see that somebody isn't strong enough. They see that somebody doesn't have courage. And they see that somebody is confused, confused and they don't know what to choose. They see that. The universe sees that. And the universe is coming in to shake something up. It could happen suddenly. It could happen suddenly. That makes you step outside of your comfort zone. I feel like somebody is in a relationship or a partnership that there is no emotional fulfillment there at all. And, and, and it's causing you to shut down emotionally, you know. There's lack of self-love here as well. It's time for a change. It's time for you to be flexible. Yeah, you may have to adapt. You may have to do things that make you uncomfortable. But... you have the ability to stay afloat, you know what I mean? You can do this, you can do this. And I feel as though a lot of you are staying in a situation perhaps for financial reasons for sure. It's financially stable. I'm afraid of what I will lose but there's no love. So I think some, for some of you, the only reason you're in a situation is because of the financial aspect of it. The universe sees that you're supposed to follow your heart. You're not supposed to stay in a situation just because of the, you know, codependent reasons or whatever it is. Um, there's lack of happiness. There's lack of growth in a relationship. And somebody is, is seeking it. I'm seeking growth. I'm seeking happiness. So there's, there's like, I, I want it so bad. I want this. And I know that I want this so bad. But there's a lot of... Uh, negative thoughts getting in the way. Reluctant to move on from a troublesome situation. You have to find the strength. You do. And the universe is going to help you find some strength. Somebody's not making the right judgment call. And, the, and the whole, this whole thing is based on last, lack, of, lack of faith. Self-doubt, self-loathing. Lack of believing. Lack of trust. Trust the universe. Trust your, trust your inner judgment. Trust your intuition. Trust your journey. Trust the divine plan. What is meant to be is meant to be. What isn't meant to be is meant to be. And we all go through changes in our life. The Wheel of Fortune is a change. And the Tower is a change. This is a destined, fated change that is meant to happen. But you have to take that step. There's a new passionate opportunity waiting for you to grab onto it. It's just waiting. But you're conflicted. You are conflicted and you're reluctant. I think right now you are dealing with a lot of tension. Tension with your thoughts, tension with your plans, tension with others. And you just, you're afraid to let go. You are afraid to let go. You have to be decisive. You have to stand in your own power. It's time for you to make a decision, Aquarius. It's time to be logical. Be firm. Be firm. You know what you need to do. Follow your passion. Follow your heart. Don't let the outside world control your destiny. So Aquarius, I feel like it's time for you to make a solid decision. It's time for you to stand in your power. 
even if it's not pretty. It's time to be honest. It's time to be truthful. Okay? Speak your truth. You will be respected for it. You will be. One card for Aquarius. It looks to me like you have a new opportunity waiting for you to grab onto it. But your lack of faith and trust is huge. Huge. Somebody's not making the right judgment call by staying in a situation that they're not happy in. Period. And, and it, it's like somebody has a better offer. They do. They do. But... <laughs> Facing your fears is, is huge. This card wants to come out. Grace and gratitude. The camera died. And when that, that, when that happens, you know, that's definitely a message. I feel for some of you, you know, the, 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 the love has died in a situation. But there's stability, security. Perhaps assets, maybe codependency. And it's hard to break old habits. It's hard to accept change. It's hard to step into the unknown. But we definitely have a new beginning here. We do with the world card and the wheel of fortune. One chapter, one huge phase. This could be a marriage, a long marriage. This could be, when the, the world card is something that was really prominent in your life that is, is coming to an end. And it's coming to an end because you are destined for change. Accept it. And this is not accepting the change. What is meant to be is meant to be. What isn't meant to be is meant to be. There's a destined change here that needs to be accepted. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life in everyone and everything around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern-day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. And there's lack of peace here. With the temperance reverse and the star reverse, somebody is not at peace where they're at. In order to find peace, you've got to step into the unknown. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood you at every juncture. No matter what twists and turns there are in the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem insurmountable, feeling grateful will ease any challenge, replace darkness with light, and allow you to hear the chorus of the angels. Your entire life can transform when you take time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you. You know, be grateful for the experience that you went through. You learned something. A lesson has been learned. Now it's time to work on the next one. Accept and release. You are destined for change, and the universe is here to help make it happen. Don't fight it. It will only make it worse. Good luck.